Ah, feels like I haven't seen the freaking sunlight in ages. Said most people who are into Minecraft. <laughs> I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. I think there's one YouTuber who is actually like hot. Okay. We're in hot water. We're in real hot water right now. We're gonna be, try and be careful about what I say. I think, to my best recollection, there was a genuinely a Minecraft YouTuber that I watched a couple videos from. I'm not hating on this guy, but uh, I think he was like on a, like a respirator or something. But then. And I hope it's not the guy that I'm thinking of. But I thought I heard that there was, like, actually, like, a YouTuber who, like, pretended to, like, yeah, like, be disabled or something. For, like, clout. That's pretty fucked up. That's, this is fucked up, too. Bro, two? Two? You serious, bro? I'm about to diggy hole, bro. That dude diggy diggy hole for me. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Jeez, alright, is there any more ghosts and goobers in here? <laughs> Hello? Wow, this spot's freaking cool. I wanted- <laughs> I really wanted to say this spot freaking sucks, but then I was like, actually, this spot's pretty cool. I shall claim it as my own. This might end up being the, the new the new hideout, to be honest, because this is way cooler. And it's also got snow. Here's another huge flashback I had recently. Um, you guys remember Ajit Pai? I hope you do. Let's not forget how... I don't even know him and 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 what army was trying to ruin the internet for everyone, and it's scary to think that you know he could have potentially like done it. He really, yeah, they're like trying to sell the the internet or whatever. Well, they wanted to like you know restrict a lot of content or or something like that. Or like make it so you had to like pay to to pay to play basically, and then you know everybody was like, "This is terrible." Unless you're a complete moron, there were some people trying to like argue, uh, you know, like why it's a good idea to like make everything, you know, make access to content uh, and put out content. Explain why actually that would be a good thing. You would think they were my co-workers with the, the kind of logic they're bringing. Maybe that's not even why. I don't even remember exactly. I'll have to look back into it. We can't let that kind of stuff just, like, fall to the wayside because it was unbelievably just terrible. I'm hoping that once this is this recording is done, I'll, I'll still remember so I can look that up and, like, just be fueled with just rage because that's, yeah... That's the correct response. I don't even want to go down the rabbit hole because it's like I now I'm thinking of all these things and like you know who would this benefit besides like people who already have like money, right? Like that's the whole thing, isn't it? Like pay me, like you you have no choice. I hate stuff like that where it's like, well, what are you gonna do? It's like okay, you just have to pay and like it. Gotta appreciate what we got. Anyway. Okay, before we continue, we're going to see what the next word is. Queening. Wow. Wow. The queen, like, just died. Wow. A little inappropriate, don't you think? Queening. The act of a woman sitting on her... severance face for the majority of the day? Also known as throning. Man, she's into kinky shit. She likes S&M and queening. 
Subservience. Subservience. Not a word that I use. It's a British term here. Queening, that is. Hold on, can we look this up? I want to see what um, what they have to say about, what was the word again? Dipshit. <laughs> the dumbest piece of shit you'll ever meet. Also known as a dumbass. <laughs> a despaired person. A moron. An ineffectual person. <laughs> One with a habit of being wrong, loudly and often. Guy, can I have money? Me, fuck off, you dipshit. Alright, yeah, so there you go. You got a, a real, real triple play on that one. I don't even know what I'm doing. I mean, I'm aware that I'm, I'm doing this. But, I was hoping for more, uh more success here it's hoping for like a cave or something nick cave and the bad seeds you know let's let's see how how the surface is looking is it daytime i need some wood i kind of just want to you know start over start some new land here i got wood don't i, I yeah I'm just dicking about at this point i'm just wasting time if nothing else i'm aware that you know some of what I'm doing. I'm somewhat conscious. Occasionally. This looks like a good spot to me. Put it on my tombstone. I was stone. I try my best not to talk about anything that could even potentially turn into <laughs> negative talk. Check this out. <sighs> How about that? Now what else was I going to do? Oh, actually, I was going to get more wood because... Ah, tasty. Because I wanted to build a house or something. Why not? Why don't we build some kind of a house? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, we're pretty much starting over because... Why not? It's fun. I like Minecraft. I like mining. I like crafting. And I like starting fresh. I love just wait my, wasting my time. I'm sure people are going to get really mad. I'll go back to my other house and stuff. We can, we can, we can do both. Why not? I can have multiple houses like freaking Bill Gates. Yeah, it was frustrating me that the axe was not in the right spot. So much so that I had to do it one by one to fix it. Um, excuse me, that's my tree. Thank you. All right, where are the good trees at? Well, should we make it with with freaking white birch or whatever the f this s is? If it's white birch, you know what that means. Not as freaking stupid as you thought. You know what I can do with uh, this white birch? Is I could set sail. <laughs> I'm really hyping up this this whole set and sail type business. The number one game played by stupid drooling baby children. <coughs> but, <coughs> I promise I still, you know, it's just... We're gonna be negative one more time. Just real quick, we're gonna be negative. But I still, you know, I didn't do the best job covering my face right now. But still, I just always have this this crazy instinct to like cover my mouth when I'm sneezing. It's crazy because so often I go around in in normal normal life, normal places, and people just are blowing their freaking snot out their face and they're not covering their mouth or you know anything of the sort even trying calm down let's just be let's be calm let's be let's not get crazy yeah sometimes people even like turn their head like in my direction and just sneeze i'm like you are worthless like I, at least then it's like maybe it was still like their instinct to like you know, maybe there's some sort of inkling, maybe some, like, cell in their brain was, like, sort of, like, trying its best to, like, function. But, like, yeah, it didn't work.
Where's the positivity? I'm just, you know, I'm angry today. Now you know why. Like, yeah. I, I, I try my best to, like, look at it as, as a blessing. Because I'm like, there's, I have so much motivation now to get out of this shitty situation. I've been learning all kinds of stuff online, like, crazy lately. Because I'm like, I need to get out of here, man. ASAP. Full speed. I'm not all that, but... I do know one thing for sure. I, you know, I'm not cut out for this kind of life. I was not put on this planet to be dealing with these dipshits, to use our, our key word of the day. It's like, you know, and I really hope that people understand. Like, again, this is why I'm so just heated so often. Or no, okay. I was going to build a house. That's what I was doing. Sorry. I just have 500 million things on my brain. I've also said too that Fridays I just feel terrible. <laughs> I usually do just don't feel good at all. I just get angry. I just get angry and hangry. I like how on Instagram sometimes it says like, hey, this person liked this picture. And I'm like, huh, who, who, who? And then I look and I'm like, Oh, I don't know who this is. Why is this? Why do I care if they like this picture or not? I don't know. I don't know you. I was listening to some of my uh, audios about social media and, and stuff like that, and uh, I'm curious. What What are your guys' favorite social media, and why? Why? Don't forget the why. Um. I really like Instagram. Instagram's awesome. It has like, you know, all of, it has everything, but it also has such a like purpose to it as well. I feel like, you know, I feel like, you know, it's uh, and it kind of, it forces you to like be creative, right? Because, you know, Twitter, you can just say, you know, whatever stupid thing. I mean, you know, you could post stupid pictures and say stupid stuff. Like if you just wanted to say something stupid, like, that you know you could have just said on on Twitter you have to still attach a picture or video so it's like ooh okay so that's like another layer of effort Two, the whole like feed thing where like okay you know Twitter you can go on someone's Twitter but also like I don't know people like just retweet all kinds of stuff and it just gets all cluttered and it's like okay you know which is fine but like, I love how Instagram, it's like, okay, how does this whole thing play out? Like, this is your whole identity here. Like, just like Facebook, again, just gets cluttered with like, whatever stuff that you're retweeting that nobody cares about, even though it's Facebook, so it's not retweeting. So someone go, you know, as, as a friend or whatever, goes on your account, it's like, okay, here's like all kinds of just shit everywhere. And all this, it's like, okay, yeah, like all around, it has all these features and stuff. But, again, Instagram, it's like, that's your whole, like, I wanted to say that's your whole profile, but I mean that in, like, a different way. Like, it's your whole, like, that's your whole, like, life profile, you know? Or it can be, and everyone goes about it different, you know? I was thinking about it. I made a recording that I might have put out. I'm not really, really sure yet. I haven't even edited it. It's way, it's way deep. You've probably heard it at this point, or if not, then I guess you're screwed. But I just talked about how interesting it, it is that, like, you know, some people, um, like, they put out albums and, like, a lot of their cover art has, like, their face on it. I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. And then some people, like, never post, like, you know, album covers with their face on it at all. It's like, that's interesting as well. Like, what's what's the deal behind it. I'm curious why people like, you know, make these different decisions. And uh you know, the the whole thing of um yeah, then with Instagram you can post pictures of yourself, you can post pictures of things that you think are cool, you can have like 500 posts or you can have five posts. You can do whatever you want make it all come together in different ways. It's really cool. It's really interesting. And in another, you know, recording that I did, 
and I know for a fact this one I put into a bin of like should I post this should I not um, so you might not have heard this is a little more likely that you didn't but either way I feel like the the better great great like the the better social media you, how you can tell uh, whether something is going to be quality or not is how by how how easy it is to post like, is it easy to just post like stupid shit that has no value <laughs> then it's probably not a good social media Because again, like, I mean, you know, you can just, you can just post a picture or whatever, but then it's like they encourage you to uh, write a caption and stuff like that. Yeah, why don't you come over here, little buddy? I got the upper hand here by a long shot. Still getting spookled, though, that's for sure. And maybe people do will disagree. But, well, also it has, like, a lot of options, doesn't it? You know, Instagram. Where it's like, oh, okay. Or, like, Twitter. And I don't really use, like, Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that, so I could be wrong. But can't you just, like, just post it? Like, select a picture and just say, post it. You know, you could probably put like a black and white filter over it or whatever, but like, you don't really give you too many options. Where it's like Instagram, Snapchat, those two give you all kinds of options. You can do all kinds of different things. Give you the ability to like be creative, you know? And I feel like so many apps like don't do that. I think we're evolving to the point where there's like a little bit more. You know, not that I don't like Twitter, I mean, it can be real toxic. There's like I never had more of an issue of just seeing people being stupid as fuck than on Twitter. I don't blame that as Twitter as a whole, but God, the amount of just just terrible content that I've seen on Twitter is unbelievable, especially for the amount of time that I've been on Twitter. Like it's not even like that much time. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know your favorite social media. Those are my two favorite. It, it switched back and forth between Snapchat and Instagram. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna cap it there with that just you know wonderful sentiment. Oh, I don't have my bed here either. Nice, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'm tired. I'm I'm hoping this recording wasn't too negative. It was pretty negative, wasn't it?